Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Face Strategist and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. In this video we will be taking a look at all of the food and medicine items, not including candies, and what their effects are and what you can actually expect from them. Now the first one is actually red tea. In order to make this you will need chrysanthemum and boiled water and basically you get this through the master chef uh, perk tree basically this will give you 15% stamina region and it will also give you the efficient dig digestation buff which basically means that the cost of uh, food and water consumption to regenerating your stamina will decrease by 15%. The next item is goldenrod tea, which also requires a master chef perk. Requires one goldenrod f uh, flower and one boiled water. Now basically this gives you a 20% cure towards dysentery and also 15% stamina region. Next up is coffee. Basically, you will need one coffee bean and one boiled water. In order to make this, you will also need the master chef or the actual recipe. And basically, coffee will give you a cold resist plus 5 and 20% stamina region. Now, the next one is actually pumpkin cheesecake. Now, the pumpkin, <coughs> the pumpkin cheesecake will actually lower... Uh, the buying price from the merchant by 5% and for that you will need one pumpkin, one egg, one cornmeal, one animal fat and one beer and in order to make it you will need the master chef or the pumpkin cheesecake recipe next up is beer you can make this at a chemistry station. You will need three hops flour and one murky water. And this will basically give you free hunger percent towards brawler damage. That is free hunger percent uh, with your fists or fist weapons, 50% stamina gain, and you'll also get a bunch of stun resistance. And basically you can either go from the master chef or the beer recipe next up is blackstrap coffee which you get from art of mining volume 4 and basically in order to make it you will need one coffee beans uh, four gunpowder and one bottle of water this will give you 10 cold resist, 25 stamina region. I mean, it's okay. Next up is Mega Crush, which you cannot actually uh, create. You get it from uh, looting, from the trader, or from the vending machine. This will basically give you 50% towards your run speed and 50% stamina region for a certain amount of time. Next up is pure mineral water. Now you can find this in water coolers or water jugs. And you can also make it with one murky water, one coal, one goldenrod flower, and one chrysanthemum. And you get that from the Wasteland Treasure Volume 4. Okay. Yucca. Next up is the yucca juice smoothie. You'll need three yucca fruit, flip three blueberries, one snowball, and one empty water jar. And you can make it with the Master Chef or the yucca juice smoothie recipe. Now this will give you a cold resist of plus 30, 11 health points, 50% stamina region. Now the next item is the sham chowder, which will require one can of sham, two potatoes, two ear of corn, and one bottled water. 
and basically unlock it via Master Chef uh, perk free or the Sham Chatter recipe. It'll actually give you one fortitude for a certain duration. Now, next up is Moonshine, Grandpa's Moonshine. You get it with Ear of Supercorn, one bottle of acid, four blueberries, one beer, and four cornmeal. Basically, it'll give you 400% melee damage, 50% to stun resistance, 60, 600 HP, given by 20 health points per second. And that's unlocked via Master Chef. Uh, level 5 actually. So let's actually head on back to Grand Paz Learning Elixir. Two, dog, uh, two cans of dog food, two red tea, one bottle of acid, one beer, and one ear of super corn. And they'll basically give you a 20% to XP gain. Also, Master Chef level 5. Next up is Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir, which basically resets all of your skill points and you can get it from the trader only. The next one is Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, which gives you a 20% boost to bartering. And you will need the Master Chef level 5. And you will basically need 40 Dux Casino tokens, 4 Jar of Honey, 4 Mushrooms, 8 Gas Cans, and 1 Ear of super corn. I'll make a video about the arrow super corn. It's not that straightforward. Okay, the next one is antibiotics. T antibiotics made at the chemistry stations require all shrimp sandwich, nitrate powder, and murky water. Basically, you'll need the physician level four in order to make this or just the antibiotics recipe and it'll give you a 25% decrease when you're infected. Now the herbal antibiotics are actually the next one and if you make it in a chemistry station it will require two blueberries, one mushroom, one chrysanthemum, one nitrate powder and one murky water and that'll actually give you a 10% decrease infection not 20 and for this one, you will need a recipe. <coughs> you can find it just from looting. Now next up is fourth bites, which you can actually make with uh, five blood bags, one beer, 20 rotting flesh, and one vitamins. You'll require a physician level four, as well as for the antibiotics, regular ones. And you'll also need one vitamins. It'll give you a 20% decrease uh, to your damage. So basically 20% damage reduction. Next up is painkillers, which will allow you to... Uh, s which will give you a stun resistance of 100%, a damage resistance of 10%, and it will restore 40 HP. Now you can actually loot it or go to the trader. Uh, for vitamins, they will cure fatigue and prevent you from catching ailments like infection, dysentery, or fatigue while they're actually active. And you can only loot or buy them from the traders. And that's it 